Hello guys, today we are unboxing this Doyo racing wheel. Uh, they contacted me uh, just about a week ago and said would I like to uh, review their new racing wheel and I said yeah, I've looked at it, uh, send it over and they did very quickly and um, and here it is. So it does say uh, G30 on here but um, on the manual it does say R808. So I think that is the correct one because I did a quick search and I did find online on a YouTube video of the Doyo G30, but it's 270 degrees uh, wheel rotation here, uh, steering wheel angle. Uh, we can see it is 1080. So I think it's basically an upgraded version of uh, that one, plus some extra features. So uh, um, I took the manual out, I haven't looked inside, so this is basically a live unboxing. Um, today's not a review, just an unboxing. And um, the reason I went through the manual is because it does have some uh, interesting functionality and first off it works on PC it works on Xbox um, the latest Xbox it works on Xbox 360 Xbox one works on Nintendo switch and also works on PlayStation 4 and 5 so it covers all these different systems which is quite impressive for a steering wheel um, and I wanted to read the manual to work out how it did it because if you check out the website it's not really explicit how that works. But uh, having read the manual, um, it does it, it kind of does come across and explains it in a way which does make sense because this steering wheel gets recognised as basically just as a gamepad, um, and obviously it's a steering wheel, but um, you know the console look at it as a gamepad. And let me just show you this because this is also quite interesting. Um, when we plug it into uh, PlayStation uh, Xbox, actually Xbox and also PlayStation Four and Five. You can see you do need to um, actually plug the controller into the wheelbase here. And I think it kind of hijacks it and kind of makes it, recognise it as a, as a gamepad basically. So that's how it kind of works. So kind of clever stuff. So um, yeah, you'll, of course if you have uh, one of those consoles, you're going to have a pad. So you're going to be really sorted out. Um, the other thing that's um, really interesting about this, it comes with an H pattern shifter. So look at that, H pattern shifter. Sort of, uh, we'll have a look at that in a moment. I'm sure that's uh, it's actually quite, quite heavy weight, fair. In fact, I'm just gonna take everything out of the box because um, you can't really see much, can you? So let's just take it all out. And check it out. And uh, a uh, the pedal set, and another incredible thing, is the pedal set does have a clutch pedal as well. Which um, obviously you can't really tell right now as it is in uh, wrapping, in plastic wrapping. So uh, let's get all this taken out of the way. And let's have a look what we have. Okay, so there is the wheelbase. Um, wheel uh, the actual wheel rim obviously is detachable, it comes off there. Uh, we have, uh, I'll, I'll go through this in a moment because there's a few things again which are quite interesting. Um, it's powered over USB because um, what it uses, as um, it uses basically rumble motors in here, it doesn't have standard force feedback as uh, as you and me know it. It uses basically gamepad rumble motors, so you do get an effect, and it's going to work with that. So yeah, uh, there's a lot going on um, here. Uh, what is kind of curious, so we got suckers on the bottom for the pedals, is. Uh, why it's separate and why it doesn't sort of just click together so it is yeah i mean it's it is wired up it's not like a it's not as if it's um separate from what i can see here but we'll just tear it off and see how this uh see how the cable runs Okay, yeah, so clutch is there, plugs into there, I guess it's for just moving it around, I don't know, it's it's an odd one, but, you know, basic suckers there, and, uh, yeah, so, of course, very basic, for sure, so let's get these out of the way, uh, here is a clamp for the shifter, Take the 
side. Okay, so plastic clamp for the shifter that goes in the bottom there. I have to say, not too dissimilar feeling to uh, the Logitech Driving Force shifter, to be fair. So, does it go down? Hmm. So you can see it on there, I'm not sure if that's accurate, but it shows uh, six gears and also a seventh there. I don't think that's the case. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just seeing if it's sort of spring loaded like the um, Logitech Driving Force shifter where uh, the reverse gears you push down and you get like another level. I don't think that's the case here. It might be. It might be, it might actually be. Uh, I'm not sure, we'll check that out for the review, but that's actually really solid. That's actually pretty solid. Um, oh, back plate for that. So we don't need to look at that now. Uh, a couple of USB cables. Simcats down there, uh, she might jump up in a moment. Uh, the steering wheel, so what's that about? Two, 260, something like that, 260, 270. Um, chunky, hard plastic, paddle shifters, um, some buttons on there. You can see uh, replicating console buttons. Little D-pad, and some bits and pieces on here. So let me just, uh, Show you a moment so you can just take a look. But yeah, this you know is what it is. Solid enough though, you know, it's okay. Another look at the wheelbase. Uh, two USB cables at the back. Um, and so actually it's quite useful actually. There's some information in the back you can just see there. Just there tells you what plugs into what, as we do have some ports there, which are really hard to see due to the lighting. So I'm gonna try and get it down there. Yeah, there's some USB sockets there. For plugging in um, the shifter and the pedals. And it tells you what you need to connect in, and also one for the controller. For, as I said, if you're gonna use it on console, you plug in a cons controller in the back and it piggybacks off that. For the control, um, but yeah, it's solid enough. Um, interestingly, um, this one is kind of like um, a bit of a weird one because I, I looked at the instructions. I had a good read of these, um, and um, I'd say the instructions are clear, but there's a lot of detail you don't need to really know about. It goes over the top, and it's not particularly written well English wise. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a chore to kind of go through it, but when you have in front of me, you know, in front of you, and you read it, it'll probably make more sense. But there's a high and low gear setting here, so from what I can establish from that, it means you effectively get 12 gears on the gear shifter. So it'll be like uh, in a in low gear, it'll be gear one to six, and you go to high gear, it'll be then gear seven to 12. That's how it works, from my understanding of reading that. Um, it's fair enough. Um, here is a SimCat. Hello, SimCat. I did warn you she's going to come up. Oh, now look what you're doing. SimCat. She's making love to the camera. <laughs> no, no SimCat, no. Um, table clamp is uh, very similar to the, the Logitech type of clamp. And it's good to actually see a table clamp on here rather than just suckers like you have on a lot of these cheaper wheels, which is you know not really good at all, really, is it? Um, although, as I showed you earlier, you do get suckers on there for some reason. I mean, do you really need suckers? Just just be like rubber feet on there. Um, actually, there's some kind of hole things there, so you could sort of hard mount them in some goofy fashion if you really wanted to, but I don't see why you would. You know, it's not particularly uh, strong tension on those. Uh, let's get this wheel mounted to here. So um, it does have uh, effectively a quick release, right? So, uh, which is uh, quite interesting to see. So uh, you can see it has these notches on there and those bits on there. So it kind of mates in place so you can't mess this up. And um, there's a screw collar 
which is very reminiscent of uh, the Thrustmaster quick release, to be fair. So let's just screw it in place. Simcat's looking at me. Yes, Simcat, I know. Simcat, take it easy. It's taking a while, isn't it? We'll get there in the end. Let's uh, get this tight. Uh, and uh, there you have it. It's actually solid. So the wheel has uh, a uh, spring basically, so it returns the centre, so the more you turn it, uh, very slight increase in tension, not a lot really, but uh, that's not a bad spring in there. And uh, guess who sprang up? That was well timed, wasn't it? And there you go. <laughs> this Simcat getting in the way once again, but uh, there you have it. But I think we're done here, guys. Simcat, you going to get out of the way so I can show the viewers the wheelbase for one last time? Or not, Simcat? Simcat? That's the Simcat show. Don't land, bugger off. There you go. She's gone. Uh, and there you go, guys. That's my first look at the Doyo um, 808 steering wheel. Uh, review in the near future. Don't know when, but. Uh, It'll be uh, interesting to test this out, you know, it's a casual steering wheel made for, you know, maybe a good gift for um, kids, uh, maybe a partner who uh, likes a bit of racing game action, but isn't like massively serious into racing games. And that would kind of work quite well, considering it does work on so many systems. That's certainly a uh, unique selling point. So, uh, yeah, it has, uh, has, has, some, uh, has some value. Uh, so that's quite interesting so uh yeah we'll check this out in a future video in the review and i'll give you more details on the setup and everything else and see if we can get it running on a on my xbox 360 as well and as well as pc and so we get on okay well there you go guys thanks for watching uh drop comments below the video as usual and i'll see you soon until next time happy simming and bye bye for now